Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Route1FM. Thank you very much for joining me on tonight's video. Today's video, shall I say. We still are here at Wrexham. So we're doing an absolute wonderful job, even though it's been a sticky situation. First of all, can I get you to hit that thumbs up button down below? Even hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notifications to let you know that every Friday at 10 a.m. I will be dropping Rise of the Red Dragon series. So please love the support. Please leave a like, leave a comment as well. As you can see, we are halfway through the season. Now we're just now, well actually we've gone beyond halfway of the season, so we're not doing too bad. As you can see in the top corner, we are in seventh position at the minute and with a media prediction of 24. So I can turn around and say we have consolidated ourselves in League One for next season. First of all, also, i like you to show some love for Dragon Chat. They are a organisation endorsed by Wrexham in supporting people with mental health. They hold seminars on a Monday and a Thursday for females and males respectively. It's all done via Zoom. So please show them some love, show them support and obviously help people who are in need of mental support. Now in this video, we are going to see two games. We're going to see the FA Cup replay against Newcastle and a league game against Crew. So... Without further ado, let's get over to the racecourse ground to see the replay after a thrilling 3-3 free -free draw at St James's Park. And here we go with the action. With Wrexham on the attack, looking for an early chance. And Davison couldn't get quite the finish there for it. We've done, done not done too bad. We've done three all in the first game and we've seemed to go out on the front foot here against Newcastle, showing them what we can do. But a ball played over the top and Coyote's in. And what a save by Rogerson, who is deputising for Eastwood, who has suffered a little bit of an injury, a little bit of a setback. Corner comes in from Newcastle and it is headed cleared. That's the main thing. So in from the throw. Now looking for some sort of action in the danger but it's not happened Bennett picks it up tries to drive at the right back but it goes back and there it is Charlie Savage the player of the month third place player of the month shall I say doing well for the smallest man on the pitch shall I say he's literally in and out like his father he's creating chances but the ball goes into the back post and it is headed clear by the Newcastle defence but a risky back pass there nearly played him into trouble and we come on the attack again so ball played over top Davison's in and it's a great save there by the Newcastle goalkeeper Neto so unlucky to there what can we do we are literally running the show here in the first half we've obviously gone with four at the back two in midfield then the three then the one up front so done us well good in the last game but the question is just can we carry on that momentum and as we carry on ball is literally played out it's literally all Wrexham at the minute which is great so Davis into Davison Davis again he's and he's just narrowly missed it again that is so unlucky start of the second half now we are literally going at it so we're starting where we left off which was all Wrexham in the first half and we're just trying to find that killer ball to kill this premiership team off and the ball straight through Davison he could have hit it early first time but he takes it wide ball goes back and it is saved well I believe it might have just come off one of our defend our attackers there but in comes Newcastle now. They're just going to have a bit of spell of play. Probably the best spell that they've had so far in this match. And they're literally playing it around. Out wide it goes. 
the show in the class. Look at that ball in. Oh, just that one lofted ball in. And Torreira has scored for Newcastle after 50 minutes. 1-0 to the Magpies. What can the Red Dragons do to answer the critics, shall we say? We can't argue. We've done well. Ball's played in again. And it is well saved by Rogerson. So, literally forced him into taking the shot early. Free kick for Newcastle. Played over. It's round the back. And what a save there. That should have been 2-0. Should have been 2-0. Corner comes in from Newcastle. It's left footed. In it goes. In swinger. And it is comfortably out of play. Newcastle again with the throw. They're actually showing their class now of being a premiership team. Ball is played around. It's going in. What can they do now? And it's a shot and it's a well saved there again by Rogerson. He's he's done well since coming in, let's be honest. He's he's a good little understudy. And the ball and it is in by William Carvalho. It is now Wrexham nil, Newcastle United two. And I got, I've got to say, we've done done our fans proud to bring them back here. A bit of a low cross there to bring it in there to the keeper's hands. What's he going to do with it? He's played it long out towards the left to Aurora. Aurora is literally charged down. Defenders have won this one. Don't think we're going to get anything more. From this game, Paul's literally being played around. There we go. Look at that. Newcastle showing their class. Wrexham can't get a feel of it. And Newcastle win again. And it's a great save there by Rogerson. Well, guys, we're going off now to crew. So let's see the action there. No away trip this time. Sheeran's in and Sheeran scores. He scores a goal here at the race course ground where we take on Crew Alexander. So he puts us 1-0 up nice and early in the game. What can he what can carry on? Mullins with a free kick on the edge of the day. It's hit the cross bottom. Um, Sheeran's got a second. He's made it 2-0. So it's now Wrexham 2, Crew Alexander 0. Two early goals there. And we're going this time with a 4 3 3 action to try and get more goals, try and press it, try and get back on the winning streak. So, a little bit of a barren run at the minute. So, and in comes, excuse me, Robinson. Robinson with the ball in, tries to find Palmer at the back post, and narrowly puts it past the post. So unlucky there. Crew with the free kick. Literally, we are pressing Palmer. It's taken a long shot. Tried to catch the keeper out. Just that little work. Uh, Bit early, so done well there. Another free kick, Savage literally puts it into Palmer's head, and Palmer cannot make amends. That's his third chance. But Rex, a uh, crew are on the attack. Literally, ball played over the top, trying to beat the offside trap. Ball goes in and literally headed out to the right back. He's pushing, he's gone back. Ball gets played in early, and oh, it's hit the post. It's hit the post. What a let off there. But for Wrexham, crew with the throw in just gives it away, it looks like, but wins the ball back. They are doing really well, forcing it back, and then we are now counter attacking with Gilmore into Vale. Vale out to Robinson. Robinson into Mullins. Mullins looking for Vale again to try and clear his barren spell as well. My front strikers are not doing too great at the minute. But Oli Palmer is. What a ball in there by Savage. The little flicked header. And Oli Palmer gets himself on the score sheet once again. He is probably my only striker in form at the minute. And that gives us a 3-0 victory. So let's get in to where we are. So since you last joined us. We had a game against Newcastle, which we obviously drew 3-3. Free free. So we then played their North East neighbours in the league. 
losing narrowly 3-4. Fr Obviously, Ashley Fletcher getting two and Ebson getting two for Sunderland. Obviously, we kept pulling it back but couldn't find that last goal. So, we started mid-January off with a defeat. Followed that by a defeat against Burton Albion, which wasn't great. By continuing that, then the 2-0 defeat against Newcastle in the third round. So our FA Cup dream is now over. Derby County, we managed to get a win. James Jones and Jack Vale getting on the score sheet, so and which was fantastic. And followed that in the EFL Trophy, a 2-0 victory against our former affiliates, Liverpool. Liverpool under-23s, Mitchell Burkham getting two there which was fantastic but then we lose to oxford jordan davis is the only person getting on the score sheet there followed that kieran bennett getting a one getting a getting a notable goal actually not a an equalizer but scoring first against portsmouth away at at fratton park and uh again a draw lincoln then finley pollock and Jordan Davis getting on the score sheet for Wrexham in a 2-2 draw. Followed that by a boring 0-0 draw against Cambridge. So things not looking good. Then we just seen it. The game against Crewe with Sam Sheeran getting two and Ollie Palmer getting that lovely flicked header. Followed that a 0-0 draw against Preston. Preston obviously holding out for a, a draw away from obviously with that and then Shrewsbury at home and Elliot Bennett own goal salvaged a point for the Red Dragons so as you can see we are what one two three four five we're six games unbeaten and in those six games it's only one win so let's look at where we are in the league as you saw earlier we are seventh so we are still fighting for a playoff place so it's not too bad after 36 games 14 wins 15 draws and seven defeats with goal difference of plus 17 i'm happy with that to be honest and i think the board is happy as well they're still giving me an a star for it i've signed on for another three years so we ain't doing too bad but guys we're going to leave the video here we're going to let me carry on with season hopefully get the title or the running hopefully try and push for that playoff place we can still do it luton's not that far away but first of all i also like to tell you i have purchased the fm base journal please give that a look as well if you'll find that on my twitter page uh if you use root fm as a discount code you get a little bit of a discount on there it looks fantastic it feels fantastic i have got one i'm not going to actually do it with this save i'm actually going to use it for possibly my next save so i get fresh so you can start a season fresh but no matter what you call it football soccer football just remember it's for the love of the game and i will see you next time don't forget to subscribe